What's up, guys? Welcome to the Make It Happen podcast. This is episode nine. I'm your host, Mr. Make It Happen. I'm joined on the couch by my good friends, Rhino, Jamel, Big Moody behind the boards. It's Monday, Make It Happen Monday. Fresh off a uh, sold out brunch yesterday in Newport News, Virginia. Shout out to everybody that came out, about 200 people in total. Very thankful for all the love and support. The food was great, the atmosphere was good, the vibes were immaculate, the drinks were okay. I had a good time. Could have been a little lot better. Yeah. The drinks? Yeah. Drinks? I had a couple good ones. Yeah, man. You know what? Lately, a lot of people drinks don't be hitting like that, man. Yeah. Like, I gotta get your, get but your palate's getting more refined. Yeah, man. But I still like a good. What you, what you used to drink before you came out here? Blue motorcycles. Oh, man. What was your drink um, of choice when nah, you went to the bar? I was still tequila and pineapple, man. I just think you can't go wrong with that no more. So, what you, what you think your drink of choice now is? Uh, it's probably still going to be the same because most people don't know what a sidecar is unless you're going to like a an actual like, bar, actually a bar or a restaurant. Like, so I, what, I can't pull up to anywhere like just yeah, let me get a sidecar, bro. If you don't get you out this line, <laughs> and get this henny and coke and get out my face, so that people ain't really. That trying means to, you're in the wrong spot. That is, yeah, man. Those are good spots. As too. we get older, we got to stop going to those spots where they only do mixed drinks. For real? I think so. Okay. I think that's. I think that there's nothing so let's, good let's, to be happening. What, what in type of spot spots. is that? Like, give me yeah. a reference. It's usually like probably like a club atmosphere. Okay. Um, probably a rougher crowd. A, so this is less affluent. So this is including strip clubs. Hmm. I, I didn't say we should stop going to strip clubs. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm saying, asking the tough questions. I'm saying, today. <laughs> I'm saying for uh, for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, Maybe you should find a more. Hey man, y'all know me. Uh, I, I support you. Right. Yeah. I, support, so me. I, support, yeah. I support the naked hustle all the way. So I'm. I don't think I'm going to stop. I've been an avid supporter over the years. Yeah. I'm. I'm considering retirement this year, though. Yeah. I've been. I've scaled back a touch. You, okay. need, you need the the hat. What strip club veteran? No, no. I don't want to. I don't want to be reminded of it. <laughs> make me want to go. Got to make sure. Now no. they got to know who I am. <laughs> I'm just because it's because it's it's always a good time. Number one, yeah. And the regular club just we we've been doing that since we were like 16 years old. Is just it's right. capped out. I'm just right. like, it's like burned out. Right. Yeah. You know, I I think for me, my now I do. Don't get me wrong. I still like my my stand on the couch days and times that I do want to do begin to that mode. But majority of the time, I don't mind just sitting somewhere. If they were just playing music, and I got just sit. And have a good drink, I'll be good. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. A good those, cocktail in the spot that has I think music. It's the those music, don't a few really, and far between. But imagine you being somewhere where you can sit, have you a good old fashioned sidecar, whatever, and the music is on point. Yeah, you have a good time. But think about how many spots that really exist. So I think it's more so you missing the woman aspect. Yeah. I think if you could find that spot with women, oh, man. drinks, smile, oh. that'll be like the perfect spot. Perfect. Well, that's like a diet strip club. Not like a gentleman's club, probably. Not a gentleman's club. Tootsies. Tootsies? Cheetahs. Yeah. Cheetahs. Nah. I ain't been to Cheetahs, but I heard, yeah. they, I heard it's, it's You got to be a certain scale. type of woman, though. But even just fine women. just ain't You got to sound be, like you're objectifying women right now. You ain't even got to be... No, it's just... It ain't got to be a, like a strip club. Like just fine women in the place. Like, man, yeah. A couple yeah. drinks. It's also it, where you're at. What city you're care. in. Night I of the week. Now. A lot of factors. Yeah, it does. But then if you're in that, if that spot and then it's like, say you're not having the best time, you like right there at the script club. You could be back in the script club. Me? You're so close. And I'm just saying oh, like, just on a night, it's like if you're in that type of spot and yeah. it's like almost, not quite a script club, but you know, and it's like, I'm not having a great time here. Mm, if I go to the script club, my the strip club is just so club. expensive. Man. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like now, but like now, you got me thinking. Like you, you said, a gentleman's club. Like I have a good cigar, old fashioned. Yeah, just relax and a little. There's no pressure to be like big meat. She just yeah, yeah. everybody's hanging out as a cool, you know, right? A conversation. Yeah. Imagine a conversation. Yeah, I like to. I like to converse. But you know what'll make this better? <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Oh, so yo, those are definitely the spots so, that I think we have got to now that we have been in the club or that party scene or the nightlife. Seen since we were in high school, so now fast forward, a lot of the things that we did, nah, it's okay. Like we are going there for like 30, 30 minutes to an hour, and everybody look at each other like, "Y'all really?" Because there's nothing yeah. going on. Yeah. Like, it's nothing it's new. It's just like, yeah. cause like we talked about it before. Like the club used to give you this feeling as if you're doing something, yeah. but you're absolutely doing. We nothing. just stand here. We, just we can't here. talk because it's too loud. Yeah. Right. The drinks are 
horrible for twelve hundred dollars sure. for a bottle of tequila. Yeah. Some places, yeah, nine hundred dollars. You know, we need three of them, four of them. Absolutely, it's ridiculous. Because you know how I realize how fast a bottle of nineteen forty two really goes. Oh, like, like soon as they mean, bring it I'm out, talking to you. about like this, it's gone. and that's nine to a stack gone. Yeah, right. and plus gratuity, plus gratuity, and tax. And tax. I mean, I had, I had, you know what? I had fun at the club when we went in DC for my birthday for sure. That was that's good that was to know. Club. I'm happy to hear that. That's you know, what we was going for. Yeah, and then Mel had a good time. I mean, that was a good time in there. Yeah, yeah. Mel, yeah if I had a good time, everybody probably had go? a good time. I don't even I don't remember. remember. He's never been to that place before. Where did we go? Remember. The first night was it Rose Bar? No, no, that was Sunday. We go Friday. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, it was alright. I didn't have that much fun, but I'm glad you did. So, <laughs> would y'all say y'all considered official old heads at this point? I'm definitely onk. I'm I, I'm for sure. Yeah, I get called. People onk call me that now. Big dog, OG, big bro. Like, yeah, put yeah. Here, yeah. you got the OGs. Like we're really, we're that's, really. That's wild. Oh, 33 years old. I'm sad. I'm glad I, mean, I made it. It's a new wave of people yeah. coming through. So it's like, hey, they can have it too. Yeah, like, you, yeah. Knock yourself out. Oh man, I think how the, fun. The closest you're going to get to that old feeling is maybe like a day party or something like that. That's like the vibe. Oh man. Damn, we just I, this I, is this when the a sun down, we, there's nothing for y'all. Oh, nine o'clock. If I could think, if I could have a great time and have food and be on my couch by ten, I'm at that stage of my life. And I don't understand how I got here. So that was never. I don't understand. <laughs> like I'm talking about, I have enjoyed being on my couch watching TV. I and hate at one point, TV. I was never doing that. I had to be outside Thursday to Sunday. So I'm, I'm be looking forward to a good show, some food. You be watching the news. Oh man! Basically, that's. I, I know. I know. I just realized that somebody watched a TikTok about it, but it just opened my eyes up to it. That us millennials and Gen Z, the difference is that think about it. We didn't eat out a lot growing up. No, we was no. we were microwave kids yeah. and we ate in the house and we really yeah. didn't start eating out until we got like 16, 17, Once we started yeah. making our own money, making some money up. But they've been eating out this whole time, right? Yeah, because like, nobody cooks anymore. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it was just crazy. It was painting the picture. I was like, that's wow, why that's there's crazy. an influx of people like me that are showing people how to cook. Right. And it's crazy that they're showing mothers. Yeah. And aunties and grandmothers how to cook. I feel like our and generation they don't have makes some good parents. And that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Because at one point, that was who you go to. Now yeah. it was like, I ain't cooking on Thanksgiving. Because what you mean you're not cooking on Thanksgiving? That's what you, it's, I hate to say it, but it's almost like what you're supposed to do. Like, what you mean we ain't going to grandma's house? Somebody. What you mean we not going to grandmother's house? Or grandpa? You know, grandpa can't cook, man. Let's be honest. Grandpa can fry, yeah. deep fry a turkey. Oh, grandpa yeah. fries no, my fish My grandpa fries really trout now. Grandpa but grandpa what I'm cook. saying is that your, them traditions is really going away. Like, nobody's man. going to for Christmas and things since, like, Families really. What do you I, think is causing that? I think because like think well, about how big Friendsgiving us, we, is. We now. like to have so much fun. Like you see all these teachers and stuff they be doing like TikTok and stuff. Yeah. Those are all like people around like our age. Yeah, I feel like we're the generation who is like uh the yeah I right generation. Are like, you yeah. trying to do something? Yeah, let's go do it. Yeah. Like we're down. We we trying to have a good time. Right. So yeah. I feel like it changed adulthood a little bit. Cause I feel like our parents or the people that raised was serious. Yeah, they wasn't yeah. doing too much like joking around. It was they they established that I am the parent and you are the kid, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. But our now. generation is more so like we'll have a good time with you, right? Like, and I feel like that's just what's different now. Yeah. So Do you think that so that's probably tied into why people also don't cook. It may be because we didn't get to eat out. As kids. It's also inflation, so both parents are working now, or mm-hmm. just everybody's working extra to try to afford to be able to. And there's also like a more of a focus on the nicer things of life. When we were young, Gucci clothes oh. and Prada and this and that was was not really a thing. Like no. nobody so had to was, learn about that stuff. You yeah. could wear a white t shirt and some yeah, Air Force good. Ones and you were you were considered pretty flower. You had a jersey. I say social like, media probably like, influenced good. that a lot. Too. Almost almost anything clean. If yeah. your shoes were clean, but now, good. but now oh, no. it's like you oh, gotta man. have designers. So I feel bad for kids now. Yeah, I feel bad for kids. We didn't have now. to wear thousand dollar shirts. We don't. Never. But now <laughs> you have to. Like kids have purple label jeans. Yeah, kids know about jewelry like, and, and stuff mean? like that. And they're able to make money at a younger age than like we were. Yeah, fast money. And they see people their age making crazy it's money like on the internet. Nineteen fifty five year olds. So it makes them. They see keep... people their age making crazy money legally too. Yeah. We saw yeah. people making crazy money, but illegally, and okay. they're making more money than the people we seen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, way more. Money. I was way thinking more. about. I was like, all the people I was motivated money. by yeah, yeah. growing up. Like, I know people yeah. make way more money than that. Yeah. That was, and that's what got us here. Like, that's what yeah. motivated you. Like, yep. yeah. But I, that drive is is probably what's keeping people from learning skills like cooking because they're so busy 
chasing to, this other stuff. They're trying yeah. to the image. They're money. trying to make money and work harder, work more hours, yeah. work more jobs, so that they can afford to buy the nice things, take the trips, get the bags, right. do this, do that, get the shoes. So Instagram. I gotta post this picture. Yeah. I gotta post it. Yeah, like well, think, well, think about what Makes your sense. idea of success was coming up in like tenth, ninth grade versus right. yeah. what somebody is now. Mm. Now they see like they're making like Instagram is crazy. Like you got this design and stuff. You got these yeah. Lamborghinis oh, and stuff. If you had like, like a Camaro or a Charger when oh, we were oh, in like tenth grade, that you're was, like oh, cream oh, of the crop. Man, he's he got a Charger and like a, a regular necklace chain, something nothing too oh. crazy. <laughs> Who's living in Miami with a Lambo now? Yeah, I'm listening. To, we was listening to the young. I'm listening to the young Jeezy book, and he's yeah. even talking about he's a, he's up millions of dollars. Black T-shirt every day. Oh, diggy suit, chain, regular, yeah. regular shit. Ain't nobody right. said nothing to him. Now, yeah. now he couldn't he couldn't do that now. I think Kanye came along and raised the taste level. Maybe. Maybe. I want to see what he was saying. <laughs> I want to see what y'all was going to say. No, Maybe. but taste has changed. Like Even like you said, with y'all cooking online, y'all has raised the taste of a generation. Absolutely. Yeah. As far as good food, what good food tastes like, how to cook it, how it's prepared. Yeah. yeah. Certain certain people come along as well. But that also scares a lot of people for, with change. A lot of people don't like change. And like you said, that's why certain things are, will continue to stay around. Like hamburger helper and things like that because it's easy and I ain't got to do too much. We always looking for the... the 20 to 30 minute meal. We ain't looking for nothing and, to, um, that you finances. gotta really yeah. Man, yeah, that ma- yeah, that matters for that matters sure. A lot. Where you, what grocery store you shop at is gonna oh, tell man. you a lot about how much money you make. Absolutely. Yeah, so, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, that's why some people ain't gonna ever go in Whole Foods and it's okay. Yeah. Some people are just never gonna step foot in Whole Foods their entire life. A lot of people don't live anywhere near a Whole Foods. If you think about it, like here, where's Whole the, Foods? The closest at? Whole Foods is yeah. 25 <laughs> to 30 minutes away yeah. from wow. me. There's no, okay. there's no need to go that far for And I live store. in a nice area. Yeah. yeah, there's no need to go that far so for So that's what I'm store. saying. So it's like stuff like that. But you really have some people that is never ever going to step foot in that store and that's crazy. Yeah, yeah it's like that. You it's intimidating. Or they yeah. may feel like it's intimidating. Oh, because, yeah, because people looking at the prices now. We oh, ain't just, for sure. We ain't just grabbing and putting it in the basket. But I mean, whatever you consume... <laughs> You consuming like the people that you follow on. Like we we looked at the videos on YouTube. Like she's going to uh, Walmart and buying these thirty meals. So her audience is consuming that content to go to these restaurants. Like that's their world. Right. Like they they not looking at the Whole Foods content. Yeah. Yeah. They looking at the Walmart content. Oh yeah. So that's where they shop at. But like y'all said about the going out to eat is big now. Like that's what people do. Oh, like it's, like, it's, like you will spend fifty dollars on lunch. Oh yeah, hundred dollars on like the like on the guy yourself. that sent the girl thirty dollars yeah. for lunch, and she's like, "That's not enough." You know what I like to order for lunch? I like to do 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 do. Back in my day, thirty bucks you can Come get on now. You can get groceries. Uh, man, look, <laughs> you it's can't tough. get a grocery it's man. Tough. Like, <laughs> it's like twelve dollars each item. You man. go outside for yourself is a hundred dollars a pop. Oh, for sure, it's a hundred dollars yeah. for every twenty four hours right now at this point. Maybe sure. even more. Depends on what you're doing. Like, it, it really depends on... And that's for anybody. So, it's tough now for people, man. Oh, man. It's, it's Anytime $30 insane. ain't good enough? Brother's like, I just sent you 30 You know? I would just, tell, somebody, nice. I would just tell somebody $20 is a new You should have rounded it up to 50 at least. Yeah. $20 is a new team. Nice. If you got 30 you got 50 yeah. Make a splash. $50? <laughs> you would have been crying about that. Just trying to go get the lobster feast. Oh, man. man. Two of them. <laughs> gotta, be, <laughs> gotta be appreciative, man. Have y'all ever had any bad dates? It's been a long time since I've been on a date. Yeah. Like, I, I think it was one, the girl just I was ordered. never much of a dater either. Yeah. Even oh, before I, I being married. See, because Matt, Matt probably uh, told me about that when we were younger. Like, because I thought that, like, when we were coming up, like, 18, 19, I thought that, like, if you take a girl on a date, that's like, I'm just taking you out on a date to go get some food. Yeah. But it's like, no, you're showing, like, more interest in her. Like, you letting her know that, like, this is going somewhere. Yeah. And I understand that. Yeah. I ain't understand. Girls hold that in high regard. Yeah, like, I didn't I'm understand yeah. that, or I didn't understand, like, spending X amount of time with a female will make her feel that, that is way the as biggest well. thing. And you you definitely didn't have any understanding of that. We no, talking, no. He's like, I don't know why she likes, bro, you've been with her for two straight days. You took her to your house for, for fucking Christmas. Of course she thinks you like her. <laughs> and like, I, really, and I, was cool. I, I, thought, I thought about that, right? Yeah. And I, I think that's crazy. the most. He's like, I, I, think, don't, I don't understand. Like, bro, you. I took it to your aunt's house for, for Thanksgiving and Man, shit. I think that's the, the way, toxic man. thing about I'm Sagittarius. The same, I'm stuff. the same way. I'm just, the same Like, way. when I'm with you... Mel got no feelings for the girl at all. Like, hey, we'll just go to my, my mom's house way. for Christmas. She said she wanted to play space, so yeah. I brought her over for <laughs> right. Christmas. You know what I'm saying? She wrong with it. You know, I, I'm She's telling no her girls, like, oh, I think we're going somewhere. We're going to his family's <laughs> house. Ain't Not, going oh, nowhere. Ain't, no ain't big going deal. nowhere. Not at all. No big deal. It's crazy. I'm the same way to this day. I used to be like, yo, I'm just having a... I'm thinking I'm just having a regular conversation the whole time. 
time because the bar is at a low now that yeah. things that you think are normal normal is like not, hell it's way up really here. like but no the, the dating to a woman is intentional it's like i'm trying to get to know you yeah. for a reason so for example i'm at this bar you got good company i'm going out to eat regardless even if you're there or not why not have a little company beside me hey sure. you want to come get a drink but to somebody that's like May not be getting any that dates. That might not yeah. be just how I'm viewing it. Not saying I view that, that all the time, but it could be a time when I just want some Hey, company. let's go get a drink is lighter than, hey, let's go to dinner to me. If I'm already there. Now, say or maybe, even even if it's... I understand a, that Even now. if you ask yeah. them out, if it's like, hey, let's go get a drink, <laughs> I think dinner. that that is not as serious as let's go to dinner yeah. or let's go on a date. Even if you was going regardless. Even if you say, hey... Look, I was about to, I'm about to go get some food. I had a long day. What you doing? You mind? You want to pull up with me? Yeah, I you mean, you think that might be a little too far? That's a just, that's I a very light way of asking somebody out. Yeah, yeah. I think okay. it depends on the person though. If they don't have no one asking them out, they might like you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. yeah, they value yeah. it more. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. for sure. Okay, yeah. that makes sense, man. That makes sense. Oh, speaking of that, I saw something on Instagram that I wanted to ask you. Is this a bad segue? It might be. This, I'm, so. I'm feeling I'm a bad segue. Like, I'm no. feeling a bad segue oh, coming along. I got something that has nothing to do with what we were just talking about. I some change but in my boots. It don't have here. anything to do with All right. Right. Let's hear it. But let's hear it. We were talking about money, and I always love seeing stuff like this. Like, what would you do if you get this amount of money? Would you do X, Y, Z? I always like oh, this scenario. Oh, Lord. Where so, is this going? God, hold on. Let's bleep this out. Oh, God. So, the scenario is, it's $10 million, right? Okay. You got to get kicked in the chest by a horse. You gotta get bit by a crocodile, but it's both. Get, Either one or, or. Oh, okay. you gotta pick. It's like, damn. Or, or <laughs> uh, oh no, you gotta get bit by a crocodile. But as soon as you get bit, it's somebody on the scene to help you. Where are they biting me? Uh, that's, anywhere. That's not discussed. It, that that mm-hmm. wasn't discussed. The third one was with a bloody hand. You have to put your hand in a a tank with piranhas for ten seconds. Or the last that's option that's was time. fight to the death two full grown ostriches. I'm fucking with the ostrich. Yeah, for sure. I'm I forgot what podcast I saw this old. I'm a Whoever it was, yo, this was a dope question, so I had to ask the fellas. The shit Me and the ostrich going to war. I'm <laughs> two, not two ostriches. You put crazy your hand in the, in the tank with a piranha seconds. for 10 seconds, they're gonna, your hand's gone. Okay. What they, kind of horse? I think what that's the movie. Is it like a donkey? No, it's not the movies. <laughs> that, that fast? Yes. Pull when we get off the podcast. <laughs> no, pull show, up we'll piranhas. We'll show a clip. Yeah, you gotta right show now. a clip of that. They are incredibly fast and vicious. So your hands gone. Ten seconds. Your hands gone. Yeah. No I hand. Think, I think I'm doing the Ten two. Ten million dollars not too. enough. I think you I'm saying that too. I think I'm doing the two options. I think I'm whooping someone. Maybe kind of, I might go for the horse, horse kick. Yeah, I just don't know where it's gonna kick me at though. And, and, I, and it gotta be the rib. It's, it's right here. It's in the rib. You gotta get kicked in the rib. Like, how close I'm am like, I standing? Am I my am I, ah, I, I know, am I far not. enough away that he can't really get his shit off? <laughs> no, or am gotta, I right up get, on it? You gotta get kicked. Yeah, that was crazy. No, I'm not trying to break no ribs. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and the ostrich, what, what the fuck can the ostrich do? It's we don't know. Though. Nobody knows. Like, do are they, they, but are they in tandem? Do they know that they're banking me? Or is <laughs> it like... Yeah. As soon they can find out. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm a fucking and, monster. And then it's up. to the death. It's not like a time. So it's whoever dies. I'm going to kill them. <laughs> Got to. Killing both of them. You, I might go no with the horse. Weapon. No I think weapon. I'm going no horse. Weapon. You probably don't have no weapon. No weapon. You yeah, I, I don't know how much damage... to the death? You can't put no restrictions on that. I might do the horse. A fight to the death means there's no <laughs> rules. You doing the horse? I might do the horse. I need uh, Is it like ten a million donkey? for a broken ribs. I'm, that's a pretty good deal. Ten mil for a broken ribs. I mean, you I might get you, internal bleeding. You could die from that shit. Yeah, but People I don't know if they said that the ostrich What about the snake neither? bite, though? You said, it was a crocodile. Cro- no, crocodile. No, no, I'm not doing that But as soon as you do it, they grab them. No. no your shit's no. gone. That foot is gone. That's what's happening. Crocodiles are here today because they have massive jaw power. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do the ostrich, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking them ostriches up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm moving there. Like I like my ostriches? chances. I'm gonna have to, bro. I'm not getting I, How long do I have to prepare? Can I get like 30 days to train? Like, I guess. It's just, yeah. it's just yeah. to the right. death. It's just it's something about that kick, man. It's just two ostriches. Like, I'm, I'm trying to, to the death. figure out how ostriches are gonna kill me. How big is an ostrich, Moody? Look it up. Oh, my God. We need some, we need some details here. I just tall as Because well. I feel like nobody knows the. Yeah, but what, what's the skills of the Like, what's the thing that they. They fast and They gotta have feet. They don't have arms. They got feet. I'm thinking they go bite your eye out immediately. But they can't even bite. We don't know the skills two they have. Of them. They screw and they fat and run like 45 miles an hour. Yeah. That don't mean shit. They gonna kick you. <laughs> I don't think so. That's definitely what's gonna happen. I gotta see an ostrich So fight. which one you picking? I'm doing with the horse. Mm, you might not make it to see your 10 million. Okay, get right. kicked. 
Mm, it's gonna hurt. Rondo oh, be kicked oh. in the face. Hey, you know what? What kind of horse is gonna kick Rondo in the ribs? It got to be a pony. Be but what can they do to hurt yeah, you? Yeah, one hundred and forty to three hundred and twenty pounds. Give me two one forties. Two one forties. Baby, no, they three, no, they got to do full. It said full grown. They so did it did not gotta, say full grown. It gotta be. That's it, the that's the range. One forty. I'm picking yeah, more the, adult. For an adult, one forty. Okay. I'm fucking them little oh, ostriches yeah. okay. up. You know what I'm saying a chance. We get we get anything more. Two three twenties and it's a wrap. Two three twenties is over. Three twenties would be tough. <laughs> you can't even wrestle him to the ground. Like I'm gonna kill him. I'm just gonna choke him out. That little guy. <laughs> That's the even, it's easy to choke. Hey. Yo, please. I'm gonna put it I like in a guillotine like immediately. Oh man, but that's only that's you can, a wrap. But you're gonna do one. What the, you gotta worry about is two. It's the six, other one, six nine to nine feet. <laughs> oh god, damn! <laughs> that was cool. Hey. Hey. I told you, I told you. <laughs> two big birds. Nine, nine feet. Nine, nine feet, feet is crazy. What does that even look like? You don't want to know. Uh. You know, you look up and they could be like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's two hundred pounds in the air. That's dangerous right there. They run they run 45 miles wild. They fast too. I need a knife. They might be if I can have a knife, it's a wrap. It might be fast. Somebody going down, yeah. No, nah, I need a weapon. They gotta have a weapon. I can't do it. Give me a cross, uh, bow and arrow. Oh, see, another article is 250 pounds to 300 at nine feet. So we need to know the real number because it sounds like 140 is the kids. <sighs> That's tough right yeah. there. Yeah. So let us know in the comments what you're choosing. I yes. think I'm going to go. I'm going to try to find this podcast to get a hey, good question, fellas. I, I forget what podcast it was, but Ronald's stealing y'all content. I didn't know nothing about it. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> fuck them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm going ostrich fight or horse kick. I'm going horse first, then potentially <sighs> ostrich. <sighs> yeah. Horse kick. I feel like I can minimize the injuries. Like I'm gonna play dead. They're gonna come down, try to peck me, and then I'm gonna put them in the headlock and choke them out. You just can't no, they, they're going to eat you. You can't play dead. They're yeah. going to attack you. They can't eat me whole. As soon as they put their face down there, that's when I'm gonna fucking. You just can't, I can't jump up there. You just can't get let them, them nine get up. feet. You got to keep them on the ground. You let them get up. How you gonna get something that's nine feet, two hundred pounds on the ground? That's what I'm saying. I got to play dead so it comes <laughs> down to try to peck me, <laughs> and then that's when I jump on. <laughs> Please tell me how you gonna do that. He gonna try to do a roadblock. Wrap and roll. I'm gonna choke it out. I'm telling you. Now they do got little legs. They got little legs. They there strong, we go. Though. That's the weak part. <laughs> yeah. Horse legs look small. I'm going to figure this no, out. I'll, uh, no, horse legs are strong as a bitch. Yeah, but the body look narrow. You talk about, you talk about narrow, not small. Hey, horse kick is going to send you into For a sure. coma. <laughs> <laughs> like, you think you them might, ain't going to kick you? you gonna, they're not going to kick like a horse. You're going to die. <laughs> There's a phrase like survive. kicking like it's a horse. Got, like, that's it's a people thing. that got th- kicked by a horse and survived for sure. Plenty but also they don't sometimes. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think there's many people on record that have been murdered by an ostrich. More people have died from horse kick than ostrich fight. I guarantee you that. <laughs> Not the <did> double. <laughs> <laughs> no record of the double though. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> that's oh, crazy. Man. Getting jumped by two ostriches. Made me think of that with the- <laughs> it's two. I need a what? You gonna need a what? I'm gonna lose. You fight, I'm gonna get tired of fighting the first one. You fight one to the death. Look up as a whole nother. Bro, fight, 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 fight two to the death. That means you can't. You can't get tired. No, I'm gonna get tired. You're gonna get tired. What do you mean? As soon as you start, you gonna be tired. Four minutes in, and you know what? Not get tired. The ostrich not gonna get tired at all. At all. And then this boy gonna go take a break while he beating you up. Then he gonna run over there full speed. Jump kick you. Oh, no. I don't, oh, man. Yeah. I'm going to take, take the horse kick. I'm going to take the horse kick. You got to roll the horse kick. You can, yeah. you can minimize that with. damage. Yeah, I'll get know. it over with. Yeah. yeah. That shit going to hurt so bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm just... Get, get that's what I'm going to do. Free of done. Oh, we said tax-free? Tax-free cash. Because if they tax-free, I ain't doing none of this shit. If I got to pay Uncle Sam five out of my ten, I ain't doing it. Fuck it. Right now, cash on the ground, you just got to pick. Untaxed, though. They not going to come trying to... Yeah, man. Run my shit later. Oh, yeah, no, IRS. Tax, right. I ain't doing none of that. Mm-mm. Oh, man. Got to get that. Yeah. Got to get that broke, broken ribs and all. Being here like that. Internal bleeding. <laughs> is, there, is there an animal that you just not going to fight? A lot of them. Most majority of them, actually. For any yeah. type of money. The, yeah. va- the vast majority of them. For sure. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't even want to fight, fight a dog. i fight a kangaroo. You're crazy. They strong. And they box. I seen a dude box one. I, th- I think I could take one. All right. No, for real. Like this, this one ain't okay, not so, the size of the right. other one. So if you pick a kangaroo, 
If I had I'll to, box the shit out of kangaroo. Fight, this one's swinging faster than the video. <laughs> <laughs> it's wrong. It looks wrong. If I had to fight, if I like, I had to pick one and fight. Better fight a cat. <laughs> Take a cat yeah, out. Kick his ass. No, I can't. Be, it can't vicious, be. A, it can't be yeah, a domestic sure. animal. It has to be like something if wild. Going, if we go on kangaroo, we gotta go something wild. Something wild. And you know, when they in the wild, they even larger than when right. they're in captivity. So I don't yeah. know. I know one I ain't doing no monkey or gorilla. I'm gonna tell you that right now. No tiger, no nothing. Little. You can't do nothing. Monkeys will rip your face off. For sure. You're true. Like, man. no problem. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. He's like, no problem. Rip, your, rip face your face off. off. You, you mean know? like a baboon? You talking <laughs> no, about like no, a small monkey? One? A monkey? Like a monkey, monkey. Oh, no. A monkey will rip your arm off <laughs> if you what? want it to. What are talking about? <laughs> See, we watched. You ain't never seen a man. You ain't never monkey. seen a monkey. You, <laughs> you talking about like a chimpanzee. I'm talking about a little monkey. Like, like your you gotta give me I'm a, talking about a like species. A I'm talking about real life. Species. In monkey is a the species. There's the chimpanzee is not a monkey. So baboon's not a monkey. A monkey's a monkey. Well, what, wait. I mean, it's different types. Though I gotta. Yeah. They're all, right, all so, small. So we all agree, gorillas and stuff. Don't oh, fuck no. Nah. We, we agree nope. to that. Bamboo, King of the jungle. Orangutans, all them. You keep your ass over there for sure. Maybe a koala bear. Okay, Koala I think they're bear? vicious too. They got uh, all them got herpes. Do you think pant? Wait, what? what? Do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck knows this? <laughs> yeah, you know, look at that. You gotta have to pull it up. You've been doing Who this all earth? day. Yeah, <laughs> I know a lot of random facts, bro. This information. They got they they wild wild herpes outbreak in the uh, koala community. <laughs> Wait. Hey, shout out to the koalas. <laughs> you all take your time. Y'all ain't never heard that. You got catfish by so one. super wild. <laughs> Outside no, super wild. wild. They wild. I never knew that. You never knew that? Oh, yeah, super wild. It's all right. No big deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Murphy and Delirious was like, they got this shit called herpes. Now that shit stay with you forever like luggage. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was a... Hey. No, the koala crazy. Classic. Oh, man. So, no, I, I think... Yeah. I'd whoop a koala ass. No, I'm qualifying you up, Rhino. No, I'm with a sloth ass, though. Probably a panda bear. You can get off on no, a panda bear. A bear, nothing. I'm not fighting nothing. Panda bear. bears are like very they, slow. They, have you ever seen They're, them? They have are you ever the seen spectrum. them twist that bamboo stick and eat yeah, your ass? But they are <laughs> like, they die more from accident than they do getting Real? killed. Yeah, they just super Mel slow. got all the unnecessary facts about I'm, wildlife. I, I think I'm going to whoop a sloth ass. Maybe. Yeah, you get off on a sloth. Yeah, I'm going to move his ass. Yeah. On a sloth. What about a dung beetle? We step on it. I, wish I knew Rhino won't know what the fuck. I'm I know what a dumb beetle. That's the one <laughs> that rolled that rolled the poop. Yeah, that rolled the poop. Now what I don't want to fuck with is them big ass ants that be in the jungle rainforest that be like killing animals and shit. Like the fire ants. Fire, I don't want none of yeah. that. What rabbit hole you send us down with this? Yeah, you started on that scene. animal fight. That was gonna be a wild segue, and now we all get back to books. So I I read Young Jeezy's book. Um, great book. It is. I haven't finished. Yeah, I gotta it. finish. I gotta My boy uh, could have read it a little bit better. I don't think it's as bad as you say. Uh, Maybe won't. you just don't know how to read that good either. It ain't got nothing to do with. It. I've read a ton of audible. Listen to a ton of audible. That don't mean you can books. read. I don't think it was that bad. Don't, we're not reading. We're listening. I thought. I think it was authentic. It's him. No. no. There's so many parts in which he just like butchered the the way he should have read it. So that's what I'm saying. Do you want him to read it like correctly, or do you want to read like we sitting down having a conversation? Uh, like the comma, like he's pausing in moments that don't need a pause, and the inflection is on the wrong shit in the sentence. Now, Jeezy, we're not saying your book's bad. That's so great. If you want to come on the podcast? We could definitely talk about it. Um, but I thought it was okay. I think he read it like he talked. I thought so too. That's what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> but never mind. Yeah, I um, don't know. Great book. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Rich Paul's book, I'm almost done with that. Probably my favorite book in the last 20 books. I'm loving that book. It's, it's inspiring. It's uh, relatable. He grew up uh, in a very relatable fashion, did a lot of the same things, um, Do we talk and made a lot out of himself. Talk much about LeBron in the book? He hasn't talked about LeBron one time, and I'm 75% of the way done with the book. That's dope. That's yep. dope. That's good. What else? Y'all reading anything else? Um, not right now. I I do want to start the uh, Rich Paul book. Definitely uh, should. But I do want to read some other type of books though, like some type of mythology. I don't know. What so you you know who Jay Shetty is? Mm-mm. Okay. Well, I just we won't talk about that. It's Jay just, Shetty. Yeah. Is he like he wrote a couple books? He was he's known for like being a monk. He said he went off and studied to be a monk, and then I think he had been on Rogan and everything. He's probably been on a little bit of everything. 
I don't think I've okay. ever heard of him. Do monks really do that that silence thing? That's what he said, but it's a long. We won't. We'll segue into something else. Okay. To a different, to go to to a different subject. Again. No, no, no. It's just it just was a lot of news I just discovered about it, but we can segue into some. But Jesus is a part of the book that Jesus talking about. Uh, Season opportunity. That's the mm. part I'm at. He's talking about he's always been able to identify opportunity in the market and okay. he's always been able to seize it. So I was thinking about that today. Um as far as I feel like some people don't everybody has some type of opportunity, but it we don't know how big that opportunity is for them. So I was just thinking about like like what's the balance between like how do you know if you're seizing opportunity or not, really? And I feel like it was a whole. I was. I'm still trying to conceptualize it and 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 look into it and read it. I'm quite sure everybody, not everybody. Some people see these opportunities. Some people don't. But does everybody have like equal opportunity? Are they taking advantage of it? I'm just trying to see. I'm still trying to. As you see, I'm still trying to conceptualize. Yeah, I it. think that um, most people have opportunities come across mm-hmm. their path. And it may be a small opportunity, but making the most out of that small opportunity might lead you to the next one that's a little bit bigger and you kind of compound it right? versus people that kind of never grow or or get themselves out of. Because if you're, if you're down here and you're in a rough spot and there's no opportunities, you live in a, a rough area, you don't have any people to look up to, right? and you never pull yourself up out of that a little bit, it's going to be tough to just... There's not going to be a life-changing opportunity that's going to knock on your door. Right. Like, Jeezy grew up in a rough environment, and he kind of, like... Compa- he started real small. He, right. he took the... the um, $20. The 20s mm-hmm. and made it 40 Right. Yeah. And, he, like, small small wins on his way to being able to take, care, take advantage of large opportunities. Right. Yeah. So I think that's kind of how it works. I think... And I was another thing I've been thinking about recently is uh, I think... Value will find you, right? So I thought about like even the situation for me, like we've been reading books and studying and trying to be on the up and up and all this time. So it's like once the opportunity was presented to me from you, it's like I was ready for the opportunity because I had been educating myself up to a certain point. So it's like when people, when somebody come over here from like a third world country and they make millions of dollars, even though they started from nothing, they had a certain amount of value. So once they got into a position with more opportunity as you speak, where they could flourish. Yeah. So I feel like your value isn't determined by where you're at right now in life. Right. And I think I also think that they have a different perception of what opportunity is and appreciation for that because right. there's so much there's a they they've lived in such a, a environment where there's a lack of it. Right. That so, when they get here and they're like, oh, what do you they mean? Can I can just it. go. I can just go open up a store. I can just yeah. file this paperwork no and I friction. can start a business. I don't like, like, they have a different level of appreciation, which takes them further. With it, it kind of ignites a drive in them that most people can't keep up with, right? Because if just just a year or so ago if they were still living in the same place, they would have never been able to do this, right? We take a lot of shit for granted in America. We're Absolutely. we're very entitled. We. Spoiled. We don't appreciate shit. Like no, in some no, no. countries, you just can't. You'll you'll never get rich. There's a zero percent chance you'll ever get rich. You can't pull yourself up from by your bootstraps. Yeah. You can't do anything. You can't create some content on your iPhone that you don't have to pay the bill on and yeah. get popular and then start making money. Like that's not a thing in some places. That's true for sure. That's we can true. do like almost. Obviously, whatever. there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of negative things that are happening in America, but still. By a landslide is one of the best places in the world in terms of being able to better yourself. For sure. For sure. That's not even an argument. Yeah. You can't even make but you get on that. Twitter, there's people like, America sucks. It's like, yeah, I mean, well, I, like, I kind of hear what you're saying. We go did, live somewhere else There's definitely yeah. a lot of bad shit. Yeah. But we are also one of the only places you go for being piss poor without food and clothes to so, being mega rich in like five years, for three sure. years. Right. Yeah. Like, just because of the opportunity that's yeah, here. Yeah. You yeah. just... No, you can print sense. money in America if you if yeah, you figure sure. it out. Is 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 what is also about figuring it out though. They go tax the shit out of you when you start doing yeah, it. Yeah. But that's what you're <laughs> yeah. paying for. I feel like yeah. taxes is you're paying because you live here in America. Yeah, and yeah. this opportunity, like you wouldn't have this opportunity if, if you, you wasn't here. here so right. you got to pay us a tax yeah. on it. I feel right. like that's how they look at it basically. Because they you know, got the infrastructure like you say, you set up. You don't hear too many people saying, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave us and go make this bread. 
No. You don't hear Good that. luck. No. What? You don't hear that. That's not a thing. Luck, People yeah. are trying to come here in droves. For sure. right. you, in some All countries, ain't no sitting on the front porch having a cigar. Drinking some lemonade? No, not at all. No. Man, people is running through here, killing people. All, like, all type of stuff oh, is man. going on. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's bad. It's it's rough in other places. Makes sense. Not every place. There's some places that are oh, comparable, great. maybe, or they're yeah. great places to live. But, by and large, right. majority, you can go from nothing to something in America like no other place in the world. Oh, man. And you can travel. And they was talking, I've seen this, since we travel a lot, um, I've seen this... Uh, Post this guy, I think he lived in like the UK, and it's like in forty five minutes he can go to like he said he can go to Germany, go to yes. Britain. Like it's so it's so close, but in America, like America's just big. <laughs> oh, it's man. so lo- like forty five minutes, you still could be in the same state. Yeah, yeah. but he, like every single state is basically like its own country. Basically, right. that's it's, like, exactly completely, what it's, like. it's completely how different. How that's why we don't states are because we don't travel. visit them. Right? Do y'all feel like you want to go to each state before you leave this earth? The, the, important, did it? The, the ones that I think that I deem important. That's yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. But I mean, I, I'm sure each state has something dope about it. Yeah. Um, right. I don't know that I would. I'm so busy. I don't know that I would go out of my way to visit. Just to say certain just to places. Check my. Just say hey, I went. Nah, you know, I need a reason. Gotta have. Like a I haven't even been to New Orleans yet, and I I've yeah. been everywhere, but so, I haven't yeah. even been to like places like that. It's like I'm not gonna go out of my way to go to like North Idaho. Dakota. Y'all said it, not me. I love y'all, Idaho and North Dakota. Yeah, I got friends in North Dakota. Shout yeah, out me to too. Well, part of Shout out to Jackie. It's, it's literally no population in the whole. Like, yeah, the middle, middle of America is like nobody populated. There. Yeah, no, because it's it's because of the weather too. You can fly really six hours and still be in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywhere else yeah. you'd be, you'd be in somewhere you'd be across <laughs> twenty states. I mean, <laughs> twenty sure. countries. Definitely. Yeah, going from like Florida to Washington, that's probably like. Six almost. Now from here to uh, LA is like a five and a half hour oh, flight. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh man, six with wind speed. Yeah, it's been the a six hour flight change. before. You know, you know the reason why I think we all tired. They like saving time just happened. We lost an hour. Supposedly. I know why I'm tired. Yeah. I don't know why you tired, but I'm still doing the math. I'm trying to figure out <laughs> yeah. where I'm that tired. sleep went wrong. At. Well, I know why I I'm know tired. What's going on, I ain't had a doubt. Remember last time I had a day off? Oh man, something to do every day. Yeah. Every We're building day. something here. It's going to New York tomorrow, first thing in the morning, 6.30 in the morning. On I mean, you got to get up at 5. On the plane to NYC. Uh, yeah, man. 24 hours. You got to get up at 5. You got to get up at 4, 4.30. 24 hours, Let baby. Going to go uh, lock in the New York event. Okay. Um, so let, let's go ahead and talk about that real quick. We got Philly on the books, May 18th. Okay. Philly, we're coming to your city for a dinner event. Tickets are on sale right now. They're about 25% of the way sold out already. Uh, DMV, we got an event in Maryland, just outside of D.C. By the time this airs, that'll be sold out. There's only a few tickets left. Um, Miami, Memorial Weekend, potentially. I'm looking to close that um, here soon. Atlanta, Houston. I got a big announcement for a festival in New York that I'll be headlining, a food festival. Um, looking forward to that. I love New York. New York shows me a lot of love, too, and I, I appreciate you guys for that. Um, working on Dallas and I'd love to get to the West coast. I just don't have the same contacts in terms of like restaurants and stuff that I can, you know, utilize for these events. So right. hopefully we're working on it. I love LA. I love Vegas. I love California in general. So hopefully, uh, we'll be able to get out there. San Francisco Bay area. Love all you guys. The Bay. So yeah, hopefully I can get out there and, and make some shit happen. That's what I'm talking about, man. But the tour is, is in action. Uh, we will be grinding hard all year. It's already March. Just closed the Kroger deal finally. So Friday, congratulations! Before man. April first, we should be yeah. in thirty six Kroger stores with the goal of going national by the end of the year. So closing out Q one with a bang. Um, tours launched. Kroger deals done. Barbecue sauce recipe has been submitted for approval. Okay. That could be in production as early as next month. This month. That's dope. Um, solo cookbook Solo cookbook Solo cookbook Not blog. as much progress made as I would like to But it's because we're launching the blog That'll be up in about a month yeah. I got about 40 recipes I need to type yeah. 40 more I don't know when I'm going to have the time to do it But we're going to make it happen we're gonna get um, it yeah. Website, tour, barbecue sauce, cookbook A uh, couple restaurants in the works potentially A lot of stuff going on a lot of things going on. Man. I thank you guys for your hard work and, and helping, helping me do it. Building this foundation, building this empire, man. How are you feeling? 
Tired, bro. <laughs> 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 we, just, we, we literally, we tired. literally build in Rome right now, and it, and it take more than a day. You know? It's 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 dope though, cause like so like yesterday, these events. You don't. Realize. I don't want to sound unappreciative of the financial gain because for some people, for me, four years ago it would have been a, a lot of money. Now it's it's. It's like, damn, I could have did this in an hour and made what I just spent two 14-hour days doing. Right. But it's not really about that, and I got to remind myself of it. Mm -hmm. Because the injection of energy that you get from meeting all the people and the love that you feel, and right. like that just changes it for me. Right. And that's worth it for me to do these events. Absolutely. Like doing just things. seeing, and I was kind of, to be honest, and this goes back to, we talked at this conversation a bunch of times on the podcast, but like imposter syndrome where... I'm. I was scared to do an event on my own. That's not on my own. Jr. is a part of it. He yeah. sells some tickets too, but he's not big on social media the way I am. Like right. he's he's kind of gone the restaurant route. He's built some very successful businesses, made a ton of money, done great for himself. I'm more on the forefront on the social media side of things. It's a it's a perfect duo for right. the tour. But I was nervous to be like the. The headliner, so yeah. to speak, because on the last last event, everybody that I was dealing with had more followers than me. Um, I know I brought a lot to the table in other ways, right. but this time it's kind of like I know that I I know when these tickets sell, the vast majority of them are because they are, are right. coming to see me. And that yeah. that, happened that made me a little yeah. nervous, though. I'm like, I don't know if I can if I can sell it out, but yeah. it, it it's a good feeling. It's definitely a good feeling, unless you know that it is people that still. Mm. That is rocking with you. you a know? lot of people. Yeah. It's it's a blue ocean too. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's a blue Absolutely, ocean. Man. You know, you just always remain positive though. You know, you don't let things get in the way of the next goal and keep doing things and not never settling. That's yeah. a big thing. Cause it's like you could have stopped with the three seasonings, but you didn't. You got another one. You could have stopped at that, but you got another one. It's like, why well, keep stopping? And that's what a lot of people do. People get comfortable and they stop. And I think the fact that you just keep going, that's that's dope. Doing things from a business perspective, it'd be like doing things that don't scale. It's kind of like Taylor Swift going to some of her fans' weddings. Yeah. Like, yes, it don't scale, but the impact that you make when people see mm -hmm. these and see you, yeah. you'll gain a fan for the rest of your life. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the so, conversations you have with people, just to be right, able they'll to remember to that, like, to you, because, like, I know you, you say you don't, you don't try to believe your own hype, but that conversation that you had with that person may. Yeah, girls. The girl was telling me she drove from Philly all the way down to Newport News, Virginia yeah. to come to the bunch. You feel like, right. damn, yo. like, damn, I would never do that. Right. <laughs> but it means people there who's special. been to every food tour we've done. I'm not, yeah, yeah. So you see the same people. They like, just show up every single time. Every right. event. That's love, man. That's important. That's, love, that's very man. important. And that's her. something we always talked about in the beginning: is building that community of people. That's yeah. the key. People, making people feel touch involved. the people. Yeah. That's the key. Like For sure. So no come, matter how tired I am, me. right? Yeah. Hey, people, it's like uh, people like how Michael Jordan like, said. He oh. said, "I'm gonna clean my car. I'm gonna put on a good. Well, you know, he really gonna put on a good outfit, but <laughs> 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 he gonna put some clothes on. But he wanted people to see him. I ain't gonna be naked. Yeah. Big so when the pocket. people see him, it's like this is the, my only time. Like I, spent, I might have came from Hong Kong. I spent all my money in a hotel room and this, this ticket. I want to see you play ball. Yeah, same thing. It's time to lace them up for yeah, sure. Right. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Moment. And so that's like, like you said, man, being in the community and touch and being relatable is yeah. the biggest thing. It's dope seeing people remember you guys and recognize y'all right. too and want to take pictures right. and stuff like that. That's that's that's, that's really dope. dope. Yeah, that's man, and, and stuff like that. That's that what it's all it, about. Like, makes the grind better. It's like you know what, this is is. I can't wait to see what it's look like in five years. And the food Before. community, I love like meeting chefs that's on the come up. Like all of these chefs that help us with these events, they yeah. they want to be in this position Absolutely. one day, and like to be able to talk to them and give them some game and like put them on, give them a little shine, a little Absolutely. spotlight. That's that's dope to me. And yeah. they're really talented too. They yeah. really help these. A, a lot events. of people just missing exposure. That's yeah. it. Like they'll never be able to get this many eyes on something, and they're right. good. Or like. At it. I, I, it was a tweet from a long time ago that I, I reposted today. It was like, um, when you see somebody has something special, tell them because self doubt yeah. kills more dreams. Absolutely. Like, people don't believe in themselves. For sure. It's like, oh man, it's dope that you do that. Oh, I can't. Like, but, but you could. But you can. Yeah. You really yeah. can. Now, people need encouragement. We talk yeah. about how a lot of people don't have friends. So, right. you know, they ain't yeah. got, you need good people around you to tell you, you certain things. You can do it. Oh, for man. Sure. And I, that, that comes with, even with like, I was telling everybody got their philosophy when it comes to, 
teaching, coaching, whatever, some people really need that encouragement. Hell yeah, I needed it right. most of my life. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah. people can they get kicked in the ass and be good. You cuss them out, they they can fine. But you do have some people that you gotta roll their back, like yo, it's gonna be okay. You got this. Breathe, whatever. And so you got to know how to approach every person. Yeah. And yeah. everybody needs that encouragement, man. Like you said, because it's a lot of self-doubt out here. And it's a lot of lessons that you learn in that environment because it's so high stress. It's so fast paced. Mm -hmm. Like I, one of the older chefs, he's been doing it for 25 years. He's in the kitchen and he's just trying to fly through stuff. And I put him to the side. I'm like, look, we're not in a rush. We're in a rush, but we're not in a rush. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The the time you think you're saving by rushing through these plates, you're losing quality. I have to spend that time cleaning that plate. So now we're in the same spot. Right. So just slow down. Do it at a slower pace. Give it to me clean. I don't have to spend time cleaning it. We push it out at the same exact time. Right. And he was like, that makes sense. Yeah. And we just, boom. Sufficient. It's just Sufficient. like little stuff like that. That might stick with him. And that, that might be something that he can like implement. In and the then business. That, yeah. He might go from a line cook to, yeah. you know, little Absolutely. things can right. change. And then sure. now he's teaching that. Exactly. You know right. what I'm saying? And that's what it's all about. Like somebody <laughs> got to learn it from someone else. It's funny because one of the guys was cooking, cutting chives. Right. And I remember, I can't remember the chef we was with, but I had like a bunch of chives and I was cutting them. You know, you got to get a nice fine dice. And yeah. they was like, hey, take half of that and you'll get a finer chop. Yeah. And I seen a guy in there and I was able to tell him that. He was like, you know what? That makes sense. Yeah. You learned some shit. Yeah, yeah. I need to learn everything about chives. Yeah, you a bad yeah. chive chop. <laughs> I, I can't I chop. thought a male went. I was like, man, male not even here. Yeah, right, male is. Hey, that I'm is, working my chive game. I, I got to work on just the chop a period. Just be you got to practice, pieces, man. man. Just you got to do it. Yeah, yeah, you got to do it. That's the thing. You know, it's easier to go out and eat. You just got to cook. Just got to do it. It's well, fun, it's a good though. Skill. Yeah. And you drink. Yeah. A little drinking, a little cooking. Right. There's not a better skill. Yeah. Like, what's, at what's the worst that happen? Other than like maybe repairing something, you know what I'm but saying? or piano. Yeah. Fuck that piano. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little piano at the crib. No. A little piano. Cooking, a little man. Little Beethoven. Yeah, you, you there's no better feeling than yeah. preparing somebody a meal that you care for and them enjoying it. Oh yeah, that's true. That makes you feel so accomplished. No, cooking or is fun. Playing their favorite song, maybe right. sing at the end. Too. Who you On know a favorite piano song? No, I mean, you'd be like, oh, what's my favorite song? You could play that song. <laughs> Why y'all cooking? Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. I mean, wine? hey. Oh, man. No, for, if you different. could sing. Oh, what? Oh, my God. If you could sing at the grill. Oh, oh gonna, God. Look, I'm going to take out. Y'all go ahead and sing <laughs> and play the piano. I'm going to make the food. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and sing. Well, give me the singing in here now. <laughs> <laughs> like five well, like you like five All right, though. You do got to just cook more. Just got to cook more. I mean, what's the worst that And sing. Yeah. What's the worst that? You burn the house down? I got insurance. I can be on that. We good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got enough room. We good, man. He said, I know you wanted me to cook and everything, <laughs> but I done burned the house down. Yeah, man, I told y'all already. Got some bags. <laughs> oh, I'm man. your sous chef now. <laughs> I'm really going to learn that because I'm here. No. But, no, oh, it, man. but it is easier. I cleaned easier. out the shed for you. Yeah. <laughs> they got two guests from we got hey. the shed. Yeah, man. Hey. Hey. Cool guy, you ain't got to come no more. We got somebody out here for that. <laughs> Hey, it's cold out here, man. You can be a blanket, you be man. Up. Yeah, it's about, it's about to be warm. You from the hood, right? You tough. You tough. <laughs> Take that blanket. You tough, right? Speaking of that, uh, one of our second highest videos on the channel is our Richmond vlog. Go check that out if you haven't seen it so far. Right. We got a lot more content like that coming on the way. Uh, other cities we're going to visit. Mm. Um, I really like the vlog style of content. I think the people are receiving it well, too. Right. So I'm excited to shoot more of that. Hey, the parking lot food is Dope. That was that, dope. That, that's yeah. the segment right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. On, on, the, on the fly. Shout out to Red House, man. That food was good. Yeah. yeah. It was shout, good. Out to, shout out to Red House. Oh, man. It's my See, people. Moody first time trying it? Yeah. Loved, it. Loved it. Loved it. Yeah. Lived, lived, up, for lived up to the hype. Hey, What's hey. y'all's favorite thing content wise that we do on the second channel between the food reviews, the podcast, the vlog? Like, what do y'all enjoy the most? The uh, Fight Club. Fight Club. The one that we want to talk about. Hmm? No, the Fight Club. The what fight happened? Club. The one that we on. The, you know, slap, the, slap the, the Fight fest. Club be a secret. <laughs> um, I don't know. Probably the cooking challenges. Nah. That's fun. Ronald don't like that. <laughs> <'cause he loses laughs> said, every time. I'm not with you on that one, Moody. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I I'm just, so a loser, man. I, just I, I wouldn't L. say it's like a favorite of what we do. I just like having it. I just want to do more. Yeah. So I can say I just, I'm just Different ready for thing. like yeah. more. Stuff to do, more entertainment, more views. But I want y'all to know that it's doing well. No, no, it is for sure. I've done this before. We, yeah. Me and Moody grinded it out. Oh, yeah, nah. Took a while to get to 10,000 subscribers. Yeah. We getting good views. It's going nah, to sure. yeah. be a slow, and steady I think burn. The the thing about us, and I have got that from a lot of people, 
it's like our chemistry is so organic. Yeah. We've yeah. been around and, each other for yeah. 15 years. Yeah, and, for you sure. Know, and Moody just came right in just perfect. Yeah. You no, know, so for it's, sure. it, it's, people love, that's why they love it because it's, no, so it's fun. Relatable it is. I think so the whole, fun. everything that we got going on is like, yeah. it's fun. Like people we tell, tell me people, all the time, I got so many people messaging me like, bro, I wish I could start something like what you're doing. I wish yeah. I had a group of friends that I've been, you right. know, that I could do that, that with. Yeah, you can't my, make it up. That don't hurt my feelings or heart sometimes when people be like, man, I wish I had friends. I'm like, they'd be like, damn, yo. It's no, we've been talking about that for a lot of, a long time But I know people like that. Damn. Like, y'all know, I've been here since 08. Yeah. I went to school with people who known each other since elementary school and middle school, and they're still cool to this day. And I'm like, I don't have that. Yeah, like, I yeah. Got maybe one or two or three homies that I'm real cool with. So yeah, definitely appreciate the opportunity to be yeah, able to man. do this with you guys. You and know? that's what it no, is. No, you yeah. thanks for being moody. Right, yeah. just being yourself. Yeah. <laughs> We've been. I've been. All, I always on the lookout for somebody I can like plug into the to the right. ecosystem. Right. And moody just fit right no, in Moody's immediately. Moody's perfect, and because it's perfect. hard. I'm it's a hybrid. Hard. I'm a hybrid. That's what. <laughs> no, you just got the good temperament, yeah, good man. sense of humor, humor. is very sense important. Sense of humor is I, very important. I, I knew yeah, Moody was perfect for us, but Moody started getting on my goddamn nerves. Hey, and he don't nobody get don't nobody like get under rhino mad. skin yeah. more than Moody. <laughs> that's, that's what hilarious. I know. That's what I it's knew. Hilarious. Moody, I was like, bro, right, he a part of the family. I'd be dying laughing. The fuck off. Because normally I don't pay attention to people. I'd be dying laughing. And that's how I know it was. I thought Rhino was gonna punch me in the back. Yeah, bitch. I don't know why. How would he do that? When I walked away. He said, hold on, come here, bro. I said, what? I think it was that kitchen was like, I mean, you oh, that on time. Bro, I was that like, was... Bro, don't start that, that shit with me. That was hilarious, bro. But he, be, but he be telling the truth. Yeah. I was, I yeah. was yeah. tripping. What, what, what it was, I was done with it. And then something else happened. Because y'all got to get the last Rhino word. Brought yeah. 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 They, they, they got to get the last that's word. That's when I knew. I was like, this nigga, man. Man, man that's man. hilarious. And he, he can write. <laughs> just die. <laughs> dying. Like, I'm, all I'm going to do is laugh. It's hilarious. Like, it's just super hey, funny. The dog, man. Oh, it's, man. It's, it, if people don't have good friendships, man, I, please, man. It's tough. Because, like, think about all the people we know. Yeah. Like, I guess you could popular is kind of a, a egotistical corny thing to say, but my book has been well known, very known since exactly. elementary school. Yeah, very known. And think about how many actual close friends, or at least yeah. me, you got a lot more close friends than I got. Yeah. I got a very small amount of close friends based on the amount of people that I know. Right. They just, I just, I'm not, I don't but let it's people you, in for real. I mean, it's usually on them, though. People be doing stuff. Yeah, and people I, don't I be got good a low people, tolerance for bullshit. That'd be a low good thing, though. Bullshit. They weed themselves you, out. Yeah, you yeah. know, wasting your time. Yeah. yeah. People don't bring value. I believe in that. You yeah. hang for around sure. people that bring value. You should right. just yeah, be friends with someone just because. It's I'll so say. easy to be a good person. Yeah. And people it's just very, don't be very, good people. It's very no. easy to be Like, why are you doing that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you, who, who told you that was a good idea? You know That's why you ain't got no friends. That's why. <laughs> you're just a bad person. And like, I would be the people that blame other people. Oh, like, I don't man. have any friends. I don't have any friends because I don't deal with that shit. No, it's no, you. It's you yeah. it's you're the common denominator. The, there you go. Yeah. It's, it's you. And we done had people that was close to us for years and years who did some stuff. So it's like, it's not like. And still just give them chance after chance, chance after like, chance. Yeah. Like, come on. I've man. Been, I'm, I'm done with that shit, though. Because I've I've been in a position where I've I've tried to help people. And do stuff for people yeah. and like make it so it's a win win where I could have took advantage of you. Yeah. Like, I've just not built like that. No. no. And, and like you say, it, it's not your character to try to do that stuff. So I ain't about to do no foul stuff that's gonna jump, that's gonna say something bad about who I am. Yeah, as a I can't so I'd rather just cut you off. Yeah, and just, just not deal with just it. Just deal with it. I care yeah. too much about me like right. i i care about my reputation and yeah. how i'm viewed and like integrity and things like that that means something to absolutely. me absolutely yeah. because a lot of people like that shit. we've been big on character since day yeah, one the beginning yeah. of the time yeah, yeah. so it's a lot like, of people like you gotta that, have that good shit. character oh man it's free yeah have a good character completely free don't cause nothing and when yeah. people do wrong by you do something foul you have to make them accountable yeah. Because mm. they feel like they get away with it and then they get over on the next person. The next person's yeah. like, no. Make That's them, a lot of people like that. Yeah, yeah make yeah. them a, pay for You got to be they, held accountable yeah. for your actions. Absolutely. You got to tell them their shit stinks. So you yeah. wrong that for not funky. telling them that. <laughs> for yeah. sure. Yeah. That shit yeah. funky. It's not, which isn't an easy. That's a great topic. That's, That's not an easy thing to do, to tell somebody like when they're doing something wrong. Right. Because That's, you love them. That's what's important about good friendships and sure. holding each other accountable. It's like, well. But that's why like, a lot you shouldn't of people have did it like you should have did it like this. That's why a lot of people yeah. don't have the fifteen. That's that's twenty plus year yeah, friendship so because they can't have that conversation. Yeah. Like, I yeah. think that's what made 
Um, I don't really speak on this subject when we talk about parents. Yeah. But with my father, like, I told him about himself when I was in high school. I was doing something. He was over my back, like, nah, dude. I was like, bro, like, get off my back. Like, you acting like your mom. Yeah. And he everybody, like he didn't like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we got into it. We talking, we talking. He gave me the keys to the cat. Like, I was like, I think I did something. Like, no one ever told him about himself. Right. And ever since then, you could see him change. So yeah. it's like, if you don't tell them, they don't know that they're doing and wrong. And that goes with anything. Telling a person how to anything, how to treat you, whatever. Yeah. Let them know, like, no, you're not about to talk to me any kind of way. You're not about to move any kind of way around For sure. me. If you want to do that, K your ass over there. Yeah. yeah. Like, do that shit with somebody else. But that's be the problem. People don't tell people about their shit. Or people can't take criticism. Oh, right. man. It's can't. probably the biggest issue. Oh, like, man. Yeah. Yo, and it, don't even be criticism sometimes. Be it truth. Just, yeah. A genuine it question, like, truth. what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Help me understand why like, you think this was good. Like, idea. yes. What? You don't understand it? Yeah, everybody got an excuse. I mean, I just, I'm just, i just not, I don't have the the time or the patience, patience yeah. or I just I just can't do the it. Mental capacity. I'm doing too dude. much. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and I can't, <laughs> I can't <laughs> carry your burden with so me. It's so elementary. Like, yeah. I'm over. I can't be worrying about that. I'm done with that like, shit. We're we going over here. I'm going to wash my hands of it. I'm moving on. Going over here. Yeah, we're moving on. Antibacteria, so I ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that but that oh, is man. that is the the people do not like you to tell them about themselves, and but that's why people don't change. That's yeah. exactly why people. It's don't a tough conversation. You got to have the tough conversations. Yeah, no, for sure. Oh man, especially if you love them. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. But people are soft. Yeah, that's why people oh, call me an day, asshole man. all the time. But I, I'm telling you what people should have been telling you yeah. Yeah. all along. I mean, but you tell me think, think like Moody said. Yeah, I'm not saying it from a hate. Yeah. I, I got nothing to gain by telling you that you should move differently. Yeah. But like it's, gonna, said, it's not gonna help me in any way. It's gonna help you. A if lot. I've yeah. never heard it though, it's like yeah, you might you know, know how to handle it. Yeah. Imagine yeah. I've been doing this thing for I don't know 25 years, yeah. and then somebody finally tell me it's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah, but like I don't know. Yeah, like telling me I'm short. I ain't that short. <laughs> you are. He says, "Hey, well, buddy, like when is when the fuck did this happen?" Yeah, Speaking of that, mean? we we got to see Kevin Hart. Everybody, we was uh in uh where were we? In Atlanta. In Atlanta. In Atlanta. We were in Atlanta backstage access. Got to hang out with Very with uh, the right, gang. Right, 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 yeah, Moody right, missed it. He didn't right. want to come. Moody done a lot of busy, stuff, Moody. Man. Yeah, you you just seen a lot, but that was pretty dope. Very good. Show. And we got to see who's taller between Kevin Hart and Rhino. And drum roll, please. <laughs> it was a draw. It was a draw. Same However, draw. Rhino wears his hat very high up on that. his head. I ain't got nothing to do with that. And, and Kevin didn't and have Kevin the hat Hart on. Kevin has hair. He has a look of fro. I ain't trying to hear that. Nah, I wouldn't call it a fro. We say we the same height. Hey, that was a little motivation. I ain't gonna it was lie. close. It hey. was close. Well, I, I give it to him, but... And Rhino would take him in the fight. Whoop his ass. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin shot with the boxing glove. I seen it. He from Philly. <laughs> he be working he from out. Philly, man. Man, nah, man. I, uh, it's, it's not because he's short either. Shout out to people like, oh, y'all, you only like him because he's short. No, I, I, Kevin Hart's story, how he was, just everything he did, and the fact that he brought his boys on. Yeah, that's dope to me. You know and what I'm I earned a, a new respect just seeing him operate for oh, the man. short period of time. He went out, did over an hour, executed the the, the performance flawlessly. It was great. Got off and immediately he's talking to fans. He's signing shit. He did like seven promos right. without missing a fucking beat. Didn't yeah. miss say a word. I'm like, damn. That's, that's when y'all talking about business. I mean, I'm out there like yawning, like, damn, I'm tired. Yeah. He, when you he, talk he, about he been business, on tour fucking all oh, across the man. country, yeah. Germany, shooting the movie, coming yeah. back in Atlanta, shooting the movie, flying. And I'm like, damn, I got to step it up. Where's the Adderall? (laughs) So when people say, oh, yeah, y'all can say how y'all might view, like, oh, he's not that funny, whatever. But we also looking at the other part of, like, bro, my guy is a business man. Funnier than you, whoever was just saying that. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? He ain't that That good of a cook. Like you said, he ain't told a joke in a year. Right. Just to watch him put his two best friends in a situation where... They are the opening acts to a, one of the biggest comedians right now, and they're making a name of themselves. And, and that stand up was hilarious. And that stand up was, and they're both was funny. Yeah, yeah. both were funny. And you know what I really, really respected? Backstage, you can count how many people was back. It wasn't a big one of the entourage. entourage or one of that. It was real chill. It was this shit is about business. Yeah. Where's the check? One of my favorite <laughs> things about there is is walking backstage and seeing who sold out the venue. Yup. I think that was so dope. You can oh, yeah, see what wall. artists they had the yeah. artists on the wall, yep. and if they sold it out, they had like a sold out sign on their name. Uh-huh. I Definitely. think that was dope. Hey, yeah. 
watching that, you know what I'm saying? I know everybody's joke, but watching that in full, his, you know, naive. That was inspiring. Spain, Very and inspiring. Him, and part of, part yeah. of what, part of what drove me to kind of do what I'm doing now was watching that documentary and seeing how he Absolutely. put the team together. Between that and the Will Smith book, that's when I was like, I need to, I know, I need to push this shit further and and yeah. bring people on board and and really turn it into something different. Yeah. Seeing it in action is like there's like a full circle moment. All right, we like we actually saw that shit. That, like we really saw it. We're like. And everybody's doing something. Like his homeboy is in charge of everything. Like the yeah, security, checking the time, talk, checking the sure time, making right. sure he's good. Like you just everybody in place, and that that takes off so much pressure off you because now you don't have to worry about because he got so much other shit he got to do. That's just a fraction. That's oh, what's man. important for. Yeah. And, and nobody thinks they're bigger than that. Everybody plays their role. Everybody's doing every, their part. Yeah, everybody shows up on time. Right, except right. for Rhino. I was there. I was there on time. I was there on time. I was there on time. <laughs> I was there on time. I was there, I was there on time. Why was I late? Why was we late? We? Was oh, that was we throwing you under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Matt was late too. What happened? When? To what? Kitchen Cray. Oh, we did it. We shot a little segment oh, for the YouTube yeah. video. Oh, yeah. That got up. DC. Should've shot it earlier then. DC. Placing open up to 11. That's why I fuck with me and Moody be on the same page with shit like that. Excuses. <laughs> had, to, had to get the content. We just talked about this. Had to get the content. Had to get the content. Man, content, man. Gotta get that content. It's important. Nah, building a team, definitely everyone on the same page. Oh man, for sure, it's, it's for sure, and was, was, and it's fun. It's 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 one thing to do it by yourself, but it's it's better than enjoy it and share it with with people and, that you and like. No more Sunday scaries or dreading Having like to go to work. Yeah, I was dreading going to work oh, for years. Your situation knees. sucked. I would be, be listening knees, to you like, bro, how are you doing that? Yeah, like, but Jamal like that's, my, that's that's I mean that's my whole thing like. Right now in my life is just figuring out like my positioning and, and the opportunities that I've had and right. I've may have not not taken advantage of it, but it just didn't materialize the way I wanted to. And that's something that I struggled with for like two years. I was severely depressed on like certain opportunities not going the way that I wanted. And that's something that I live with today because I'm getting older, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like I think that's a fear that a lot of people may have, especially at this age, is like your positioning in this world. Yeah. And it's like something that I've just been dealing with at a nauseum for probably like the last two years. So better so in the last year, but the last two years before that, severely depressed. Just like working that I, type of shift would make you depressed. Oh, huh? Yeah, but like just giving giving your all to an opportunity, like the maximum that you can do and it not going the way you want to, will do something to you that I hope no one has to experience. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's a whole different level. Of I think it's the a game. combination though, because just the amount of like you didn't have a social life. You were driving. Uh, commu commuting is a very stressful thing that people do. No, for sure. You were commuting in terrible oh. hours of the day and night. Yeah. Right. You're working a pretty shitty job, like a, a labor, relatively labor-intensive job. For sure. Like that, all of those things are going to make you depressed and stressed out. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Nothing about that. You were eating bad. Like everything was like fucked yeah. Nothing up. was was always in a to rush. Yeah, kind of relax because I gotta get up in the morning. We got nothing work. really to look forward yeah. to. Yeah, like that's a shitty way to live. You just doing it. You just selling everything you got for a paycheck, a de a good paycheck, but no, like for sure, yeah. yeah. That's, but it, that's just what it was. Yeah. That was what it required at that time. Right. Yeah. But you've always been willing to do that. Yeah, for you sure. Say, I remember I had three jobs. He was working overnight at Toys R Us. Oh, one thing off, Mel was gonna do. Go, Mel was gonna get a check. He gonna get now. a check. Hey, that's one hey, thing. Hey. One of the hardest working people I ever met. Hey, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's all that's a good like I ain't ever going broke now. We're no. gonna make some shit Man, happen. It's, and it's I think been that's too hard. No. <laughs> like you can't go back. Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna make some make some stuff happen. No, so. yeah, but that's that's just some, you know, at my age now and we're getting older. We are still young though. We got a long time, long no, road got, to figure this shit out. Yeah, no, man. For sure. You know, like you said, just finding out We're gonna be up a lot longer than we was down, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, fact the mundo. Just having that change, just taking that first initiative to step, like for even for you, leaving your job, leaving something, and for me as well, just jumping out and knowing that you know what, we trust our guys so much. You know what, I'm on it. Let's do it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It wasn't and we even, and we in the yeah. boat together too, so that you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. you know, and a lot of people probably would have questioned it. Nothing. It was like, I right, come on, let's do. I it. mean, like we already we talked about this before, but yeah. like. uh Working a job and you looking in the parking lot is like 
Don't nobody got the car I want here. No. Nope. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I'm in the wrong spot. Like, right. I don't live like I want. I don't do right. nothing th- that I want to do. So, man, it's a cap. I'm on with working at a warehouse the same way. And the dude said, yeah, man, I've been here 60 years. 60. I said, why? <laughs> that's, a good, that's a fair question. Like, 60 is a long it. ass so time. He's about to retire. But think and about He did retire, but that's. No he life. Not, he might not got life. that much right. longer. He don't. <laughs> you know, like, like, the fact that you, no like matter that we, what, bro, <laughs> the fact that we talking like, about bro, that. Bro, started so working funny. at that junk at eighteen. And when I was working there, he was just about to turn like seventy something. And he had like two. And he could have been retired, but he just wanted to get because I mean he felt good that enough to still go and he, he drove the forklift. But it was like eighteen. You are it's about to turn seventy. Why? Yeah. Like that's that's your whole life. That's it. And there's no amount of money somebody could pay you to give it up like that. Nah. <laughs> yeah, like the, the whole, your whole life for sure. Oh my God, man. That's, that was crazy. That was a crazy conversation. So, uh, ooh. Yeah. I hope, some, yeah. some people, I mean, some people cool with it, but it's just like, what do you want Not for you? I, we've always been people who wanted more, always talked about having more since day one. That's important. I mean, I think that's the, you got, for the, what's, that's what I tell people about Riot the Gate. You got to want it. Because if sure. you don't want it, it's not going to happen yeah. for you. At all. I can tell you what to do, but if you don't want to do it, then I'm not going to I think do I made a it. post. I, talk, she, I was talking to this girl about social media career. She was like, I was like, first of all, you, you're attractive. You got a body. You could do social media. But the number one thing is you got to want to do it. Yeah. That's that's it. Like, you can have all the qualifying, tangible things, but if you don't want to do it, And then, your actions are going to show whether or not you want it. Because if right. you wanted to do it, you, you would, would be do doing it. it. Simple as that. People so don't do that? shit they don't want to do unless, if they don't have to. Unless they ha- like you said, you force right. If it's it. something that you're trying to do on your own without the influence of outside source, like a job or a parent yeah. or a significant other, and it's all on you, you're not gonna do shit you don't want to do. No, oh, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. If you don't have to do it and you don't want to do it, it ain't uh, gonna never get done. No, nope. not at all. Yeah. Nope. Them dreams will die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Them dreams will die for sure. Oh man! So yeah, no man, that's 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 dope. Yo. Well, I'm off to New York in the morning. Uh, when we get back, we got a, a full rest of the week. As soon as I get back on Wednesday, we're shooting at my house at uh, one thirty. And then uh, what do we got this weekend? We might go to we might got to go to Richmond for the Kroger thing. I'll let you guys know about that. We got DC coming up. DC. We got me and Moody going to Jamaica. Got booked yeah, in Jamaica. This is crazy. That's crazy. Crazy. Man. First international you know. booking. It's pretty dope. Yeah. I'm going to try to sneak in a day or two of re- relaxation, hopefully, where we can kind of recharge for a minute. Yeah, Moody, I might leave my computer Moody, here or something. Moody, make, I don't know it, about that. Bring your computer. Bring your computer. computer. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the future. Q1's That's off to a good start. We're in mid-March right now, heading to late March. Uh, Q1's almost wrapped up, and we're doing good, man. So congrats to you guys on the success of the second channel. Let's keep it we're only a couple months into this thing. And I'm excited to see what happens in the future. Absolutely. Enjoy it. See y'all next week.